destined to be challenged by one of his disciples. Having been in London for just a week, Jimmy went along to a cream gig and put in an audacious request to jam with Clapton. Nobody gets up to jam with cream. Cream is Mount Olympus. Cream is the absolute pinnacle. Ordinary mortals cannot breathe the rarefied air that exists in this hallowed space. I mean, he's a very brave person who would do that. As far as I remember, he plugged into my bass amp. He did a version of Killing Floor, and it blew us all away, of course. Clapton had always loved the song, but always thought it was too difficult. And Hendrix just rages through it and does all his tricks and stunts, the kind of things that people like Little Richard and the Isley Brothers hated him doing. You know, he plays the guitar behind his head, between his legs, with his teeth. Feedback, tremolo arm, dive bombs, the whole works. He just played his arse off, basically. You know, I mean, the first time I saw Eric, I thought, oh, there's a master guitar player, but Eric was a guitar player, Jimmy was some sort of force of nature. Really. Eric just stands there and plays, and then we've got this guy suddenly, you know, on his knees and playing with his teeth and, you know, screwing the guitar on stage, and I thought, God, Mikey, what is this? It was like, wow, that kind of a thing. I know it had a tremendous effect on Eric. And Eric's hands were like this on the guitar, and it just dropped, how do you say, and he just sat stood there looking at Jimmy and he, he walked off the stage and I thought, oh dear, I knew this was going to happen. And everybody's just going, my God. And it's like word goes around, this guy got up to jam with Cream and he cut Clapton. He killed God, man, you know. 